True Talk Live Discussions presents Monday Motivation. Hi, everybody. I hope you all had a great weekend. It is Monday, February 18, 2019. I'm your host, True Marshall of True Talk Live Discussion, and this is Monday Motivation. Hey, I hope you all are having a great day. I want to encourage you to have a great day. Um, Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, revenge. And the title of this is Revenge is Not Necessary. And I say that because I don't know about y'all, but I've been through some things in my life where I felt like I needed to take revenge on the people that hurt me in my life. And I wanted to do the, do to them what they've done to me or worse, or, you know, just for some somehow try to make them feel the hurt I was feeling. And I realized that not only in the word where the Lord says that, you know, vengeance is mine, I will repay, but I've seen God shut up the mouths of the people that were against me. I've seen him take revenge for me in, in the cases of where I was um, talked about or, and, 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 and um, my character was, um, I wouldn't even say destroyed, but they tried to destroy my character. And it was more hurtful because a lot of the situations I was going through was a family attacks. And it's crazy because, um, you know, just being transparent with you guys, I, I've had a lot of run-ins with people, you know, that um, dislike me for because of jealousy or some kind of reason. But I think the worst hurt is when your family does you uh, that type of way or with your family um, talks bad about you or tries to destroy your character or tries to uh, get people to turn against you because they have a problem with you or um, actually manipulate people to come against you because of a problem they have with you or whatever the case may be. Um, I've, I've dealt with that a lot in my life, a lot, a lot, <laughs> more than I would like to say. And it's very hurtful. And sometimes I've wanted to just get on the book and just air everybody's business out or just air out the situation or try to defend myself or take it to, you know, whatever kind of media I could or social media I could to put them out on blast because I felt like, dang, how dare you go behind my back and, you know, do the things you're doing and saying the things you're saying and I've done nothing but showing you love. I think the problem that I have the most is that when you try to um, tell people their error, like especially if they ask you, it's like, wow, you know, you're gonna turn against me because you didn't like what I said or you didn't like, you know, what I had to say. I thought that was just very weird that you could make a mountain out of a molehill over something that you asked me about anyway. I've had a lot of that in my life. Um, I've also had issues where um, you know, me just being the person I am and saying, hey, I don't think that's a good idea. And that be turned against me. Like, it's crazy. Um, it's like, it almost makes you feel like somebody has it out for you. And I also, I've come to the conclusion that um, it could be an individual issue with you or whatever the reasons are. But a lot of it is a, has a spiritual um met a spiritual connection and that means that when you're doing what's right in the eyes of God or you're trying to follow what it is he wants you to do the enemy will use the people you love the most to attack you and make you feel some type of way and um so the whole purpose of this this Monday motivation is to let you guys know that um even if you've been through that even if it is family or maybe close friends or um workplace associates whoever it is that you feel like has it out for you or um, they're trying to destroy your character and destroy your name and destroy what you work for, just know that God will take revenge for you. You don't have to do anything. What you have to do is forgive and love. Now, just because you forgive someone, y'all know how I tell y'all, you ain't got to be up in people's face when you when you forgive them, especially if they hurt you to the core, you know what I mean? Um, but what you must do is love them. Being around someone doesn't mean you don't, uh, being around someone or not being around someone does not change the love that you have for that person. And love is an action word. So as long as I show you love and as long as I'm there for you when you need it, um, especially if you ask for it, okay? Because nobody's mind re- readers. You got to ask for help, right? So as long as you're showing love in the midst of turmoil and struggle and issue, um, that's what God wants. 
God wants you to be loving. He said, revenge is mine. I will repay. So that means keep, keep your hands out of it. There's no need to, to go in on somebody or, or, I mean, of course, express yourself if there is a rift or something's happening where you need to tell the person how you feel. Of course, yeah, do that. But a lot of things probably ain't even necessary. Silence is golden and silence will tell someone way more than your words will tell them. Um, but definitely still keep the love though because you don't want to um, grow hatred for anyone regardless on what they've done to you because hatred won't make it in heaven. And if you want to make it to heaven, then you must love. And you, Because God is love. He forgives you for everything that you've done. He forgives you for all the sin that you've committed or the things that you've done that nobody knows about. You know what I'm saying? So be forgiven and love people because that's what God wants you to do. And as far as revenge, honey, that is not necessary. God got your back and he is going to do it for you. And he is the one that can do it. He knows how to get he knows how to get those people or that person better than you could ever do. You just don't want to get yourself in more trouble, you know, trying to defend yourself. God's your father. He's going to defend you, right? All right. So I don't too much worry about backlash from stuff I say on True Talk. That's why it's called True Talk, because everything about True Talk is truth. Like, we want to spread truth. We want to spread peace of mind. We want to spread love. We want to spread motivation, right? So, um, you know... I just kind of feel like if anybody has a problem with what I say or how I say it, then you know how to hit up the DM and let me know how you're feeling, uh, rather I care or not, you know, it's no need of uh, doing all that. Just holler at the sister if you got a problem. But, you know, I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't want to dwell on, you know, negative stuff. I just uh, want to be the realest that I can be because um, that's how God made me. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all all the time. So that's really all I had today, y'all. I hope this motivates someone and puts you in a place of thought where you can really trust God to help you out and um, in your time of need or when you're needing him to be that, um, to be that source that you can lean on because he is he's there for you so don't take nothing into your own hands y'all pray about that thing stay before the lord behind it let him handle it and trust him to do it because he will okay i am a living witness that he will do it okay <laughs> well i really enjoyed this motivation with y'all um this true talk is actually going to be an open discussion talk night. So whatever it is that y'all want to talk about, we're going to talk about it. So tune in at 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern this Thursday. Um, and this, of course, Facebook and Instagram. And it's at True Talk Live for all the new people. And I want to thank all the new people for liking True Talk and following True Talk. I really appreciate y'all. And of course, my day ones. I appreciate y'all. Um, there's still stuff coming. Remember May 2nd, we're going to YouTube exclusively still same time uh, so please create you an account if you don't have one and 8 p.m central on thursdays is going to be when we will do the true talk live discussion now, i know i've been on here for a long time y'all but you know it was just one of those motivation mondays i really had i guess a little bit more to say than what i normally do but i do appreciate y'all taking out your time today to listen and to um hopefully maybe it has helped someone and um, next week, Nana is joining me. I know y'all be happy to see her. So she'll be joining me and that True Talk um, discussion topic will be on next Monday motivation. I'll let y'all you guys know then. So remember, open discussion night. Anything you wanna talk about, we're gonna talk about it. So get, get it in here, get it in here so we can talk about it. All right, love you guys, but remember God loves you more. Also remember no one person can motivate you. Motivation comes from within. I thank you guys for rocking with me here on Two Talk Live Discussions where you have a voice wrapped in love. I will see y'all this Thursday. Have a great day. Bye. Love you guys. <laughs>